He's Tucker Bethard, uh, who's on our show. How long ago was that? A uh, little under a year ago. A little under a year. Okay, yeah. what's happened since you were on our show? Pretty much just been uh, on the road nonstop and, and um, writing a bunch of new music and just performing in a bunch of places. But you, uh, you're Austin City Limits, Bonnaroo, Lollapalooza, Stagecoach. That's pretty. That's big time stuff here. Yeah, we got to uh, have opportunities to play at a lot of really cool, cool festivals and whatnot. You know, and a lot of like multi-genre festivals. So it was. Uh, you get nervous? Not really. I mean, um, I guess this year at Lollapalooza, I was the only country artist to be represented at Lollapalooza. So I guess <laughs> it was kind of nerve-wracking to. Uh, how they how they accept? Did they accept you? Yeah, it was great. I mean, because I come from a lot of like different influences, like rock influences. So it's kind of I guess an easier um, pill to swallow to other music fans. But um, it was, you know, I've been, just been having a lot of fun and getting to just experience a lot of cool things. Smallest venue you ever played in? <clears throat> Man, we've, uh, I guess back in the day, when, when I was like 19, we hit the road in a van and, and just kind of played anywhere and everywhere. I mean, sometimes there'd be only like five people at a, <laughs> at a you know, Gainesville saloon. And I remember one time we got kicked out. Um, Wait, for playing? Yeah, well, I mean, we were. Uh, I don't. I don't do any cover songs, and we were playing for ninety minutes, and, <laughs> <laughs> and I guess they expected for, like a bunch of dance party, and I was just like <laughs> some <laughs> some nineteen year old kid, and I guess they didn't believe us. And halfway through, they're like, "All right, yeah, you're done." Get well, out. that's pretty <laughs> impressive that you do ninety minutes and no <clears throat> covers at age nineteen. Yeah, I mean, I guess I'd rather win over you know, a small percentage of people for my own music than just get all their, like, drunk attention with songs. I don't want to be a karaoke artist, you know. It's, it's kind of all about chipping away and building a fan base for me. So Favorite cover song is what? Man, uh, I tried I tried doing uh, Bob Seger's Turn the Page. Ooh. Um, I got kind of put in a spot to where I had to do it, like, the, or learn it, like, the night before. And um, I don't know if I did the song much much uh, justice, <laughs> but uh, that's a great song. That's a great song. Yeah, I, I love that song, but uh, it's, it's fun to sing and play. But what's the cover song that you go, I kill that, <clears throat> I nail that? Well, I, I don't, I don't, I don't ever practice them or do them. Honestly, you don't ever don't. sit there and go, "Hey, I'd like to, pl I like that song. I'd like to play that song." You never hear that on the radio where you go. I mean, there's plenty of songs that like I love and and you know like to sing, but like I. I I kind of taught myself how to play guitar, so like I, I just got to learn my own songs. Yeah, but I like, try to learn uh, okay, but else. if a country song comes on the radio, give me a country song. When it comes on, you turn it up. Um, I mean, pretty much anything. Eric Church is is a really okay. cool. Um, Springsteen. I love that song. Yeah, that's, it's catchy. <clears throat> that's a cool one. But um, you don't try to. You wouldn't try to cover that. I mean, I, I don't know. I mean, I, I just don't. I don't want to ruin it. <laughs> <laughs> I I feel the same way when yeah. somebody says, "Oh, you should uh, try to be on that show." I don't want to be on that show that I like because I don't want to ruin that show. <laughs> exactly. So I can understand where you say I don't want to play, you know, Eric Church's music because it's Eric Church's music. Yeah, it's like he's already going to do it better than anyone because he's the one who made it. So. <laughs> All right, your brother is the starting quarterback for the 49ers. Yeah. Last yeah. time you talked to him. Last time I talked to him, I talked to him a couple days ago. Um, we're really close, so, so we uh, we talk on the phone. I actually went out there a couple weeks ago to, to watch him play. Who were they playing? They played the Cardinals. <clears throat> he got so pounded. That was uh, that was a rough one. They uh, they they're building obviously right now, and you know got some guys injured, and, and they're really young. But um, I really do like. I think. Um, I think the whole program, you know, John Lynch and, and all them are really trying to build from the ground up and doing it the right way. Kinda. You're saying all the right things. I get that. No, I, no I, I mean it. When I, I'm it not, that's not a cliche answer for me. I, it, I really do mean it. Is that. there part of you that <clears throat> likes to see your brother get roughed up a little bit? As a younger brother. <laughs> Man, I, if, if if I was playing against them, then, then oh. yeah. But, <laughs> you know, uh, it, it's, uh, it's hard to see. You know, I just want what's best for them um, and support them. If I'm just a bystander, so. nobody can question his <clears throat> toughness, though. That is true. He he's, he's a tough. He's a tough sob. He he's always been like that. Whether it was uh, backyard football or not, he was always the guy that you want to be on. You know, on his team because you know he's so competitive and tough. And were you, you know. like, how decent were you? Did he play football with you? Did he allow you to play? Yeah, we always played on the same teams growing up and, and whatnot. And um, I was a. Uh, 
definitely like more like a quicker. Like oh, you're so you were slot. his Edelman and to yeah. his Brady. I see. I like to think that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you brought your guitar. We do sing in 2010. By, by the way, your Tennessee volunteers need a coach, so you got to write a song about getting a coach here, don't you? Yeah, Tucker. yeah, I mean... Uh, you guys are terrible. You guys are terrible here. I mean... <clears throat> now, this is, this is obviously fictional because you beat Alabama 2010 Tennessee. We know that's never going to happen. No, that's the whole point of the song. <laughs> <laughs> But that's the goal, and you're writing it because you know, you're missing your girl, you're watching this, and you're trying to pull off an upset to get your girl to like you again. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty much like, <laughs> I mean, I guess the, the best way to sum it up is in the song where it says, like, I believe in miracles, like, I can change. I can believe in miracles because, hell, I'm watching one right now. Tennessee's beating Alabama. <laughs> so. Yeah, you might get the girl, <laughs> but Al Alabama's not losing to Tennessee. No, I, I, don't, I don't see that <laughs> happening. Yeah, that. No. <laughs> yes, Fritzy. I got a little song about the Volves, if uh, you guys will humor me and Tucker can strum along and follow a couple of verses on, on, on the, which, which could be a new hit So single. 2010 yeah. Tennessee, and he's yeah, going to play yeah, the... Okay, yeah. all right. Now, what's this called, Fritzy? This is called Pony Up for Johnny G. Just a couple of verses to sample what could end up being a, a monster hit. Okay. With Tucker's this help. This is the first time I've played it. So, okay, uh, all right, here we go. All right. Hey there, Johnny Gruden. Can you tell me what you're doing? Us Vols fans got to know. If we pay up, will you show? Hey there, Rocky Top, we have to make it stop. Let's get back atop the SEC. Time to pony up for Johnny G. <laughs> oh. Oh, man. I think that's a hit right there. Get John Gruden in there and you're good to go. That's great. Can you write the rest of that, Tucker? Uh, it sounds done to me, man. Oh. I don't have much. <laughs> wait, wait. Did you say dumb or done? No, done. Oh, it, all it, done. Really and, and, and dumb yeah. as well. Uh, it's great to see you. Congrats on all the success. Thank you. And uh, hope back. you have a great Thanksgiving, and uh, we hope to have you back again. Man, it's great to be back. Don't Thanks forget for about us, though. When you get too big, and then all no, of a sudden, man, I, I love you know, Country Music here, Award, man. and then all of a sudden, I mean, you can <clears> thank us. <laughs> if you ever get there with the Country Music Award and you want to thank us, say it wouldn't have happened without the Dan Patrick Show. No, I really do appreciate y'all's support, man. Y'all really You know, great it, to it me. was my brother who <laughs> is part of a country uh, station in Arizona, mm -hmm. and he said, "You just listen to this. It's got great hooks, and he's the one that turned me on to your music. Or I never would have known anything about it. He said, I think he would be great, and then he found out your brother was uh, CJ. So That's awesome. Great story. Great yeah, story. no doubt. Tucker, thank you for joining us. Thanks for having me back. For more Dan Patrick Show, tune to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV or download the Dan Patrick Show app.